The path towards sustainable energy sources will be long and sometimes difficult. But America cannot resist this transition. We must lead it. Fusion powers the universe. All stars are driven by fusion, and we want to power the world by fusion. Awesome. Spectacular. It's game changing. Star power. Plasma. Energy. So you'd have an abundant supply of power available everywhere. You'd be able to generate enough electricity to get everybody up to the same standards of living, of health care. The energy of tomorrow is taking shape today at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory. Scientists and engineers are striving to harness the very source of life on Earth, the power of the sun, fusion. When isotopes of hydrogen fuse together, they release tremendous energy in the form of helium and a neutron. Fusion is a clean alternative to fossil fuels. And the fuel we need is cheap and abundant. The isotopes are in seawater. I have some bad news. You're working on a grant proposal for a new fusion reactor. I'm working on a grant proposal for a new fusion reactor. Pop culture loves fusion. Roger, Roger. Big baby salute. Off the ground. <laughs> After Apollo, fusion should be simple, right? We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. I would say it's a much more difficult mission than going to the moon. The challenge of developing fusion is probably one of the greatest science and engineering challenges ever undertaken. Imagine trying to imitate the sun in a bottle. So the surface of the sun is 5,000 degrees. We've got 100 million degrees. With the, with the deuterium tritium fusion reaction, uh, one of the byproducts of that reaction is helium. The other one is the neutron. And it's the neutron that's neutral and shoots out to the to the wall of the chamber, heats up uh, so-called blankets that surround the entire plasma. Those get hot. You use that to boil water and to generate steam and then electricity. Right now, we're feeding more energy into the reactor than we're getting out. Princeton and other top institutions have been working to solve this riddle for some time. As our name suggests, the answer involves... Plasma. Plasma is a super hot gas that conducts electricity. Plasma constitutes about 98 plus percent of the visible universe. So the sun is made out of plasma? This is plasma. This is a plasma. This is plasma. We create fusion using plasma and magnets. The sun uses, the sun uses gravity to hold hot, dense gas together. We use a magnetic field to hold it together. And we use those magnetic fields to confine the plasma in a much smaller volume and actually make it much hotter. When the particles ram into each other, if they have enough energy, they'll make fusion. Liquid lithium can help protect the walls of our fusion bottle. It's an incredibly beautiful idea. There are fountains that, that you often see where there's a very thin flowing water along a, a solid base a work of art. Well, in this case, it'd be a work of science of a very thin layer of liquid lithium on a solid that would be able to take up the, the, the leakage of the plasma. 
Our plasma research, like the Apollo project, promises many spin-off technologies. It may help us understand magnetic reconnection, a phenomenon that disrupts communication. Plasma thrusters may send explorers across the galaxy. We may even answer deep questions about black holes. Closer to home, our radiation monitoring techniques may keep us safer in the war on terrorism. But our main thrust is a $94 million upgrade to a project called NSTX. The National Spherical Taurus Experiment. The upgrade to NSTX will be doubling its magnetic field, doubling its heating power, and extending its pulse length by a factor of five. This will allow us to get, we think, to much higher temperatures and, and plasma pressures overall. It's a vital step towards an international effort called ITER. There has to be a lot of interaction between the various ITER parties for any of us to succeed. Even back in the days of the Cold War, the United States and the uh, Eastern World Soviet Union were working together on fusion. Fusion was something where scientists find common ground. Fusion is not a matter of if, but only of when. I cannot think of any other achievement that would exceed the impact of fusion energy because energy powers everything that we do. And we're right at the cusp of this knowledge and we have the potential, we should be able to do it. I think we are all inspired by the science fiction we read when we were young. And that continues to be an inspiration um, to me even now. No utility bills. That would be a good thing to think about. It would be impossible not to impact all peoples and all cultures with the success of fusion. I really, I want to fix the world. That is the uh, nice thing about working on future energy. Energy can bring uh, happiness uh, to people. How often is it that you have the opportunity to work on something that is so important that it can actually make a difference in the way the world works? We'll get there. It just takes time, effort, and a little bit of arithmetic. <laughs> it needs money. <laughs>